If you're an athlete who doesn't have pistol squats or you're an athlete who has some and wants to improve, in this video, we're gonna go step-by-step -step guide on how you can get and become more proficient with your pistol squat. So before we move into our pistol guide, one of the biggest limitations we often see whenever athletes are completing pistol squats is ankle dorsiflexion. So it's said that you should have around four to five inches of ankle dorsiflexion before you, should, you can complete a pistol. So a quick test for this, you're gonna remove your shoe, you're gonna set your foot around four inches, four to five inches from the wall or rig. You can do this by just simply pr pressing your fist to the floor. After, remove your fist. Then you want to try to lean your knee towards the uh, wall or rig, ensuring that your heel stays planted on the floor. If you have a small limitation, so a small heel lift, we will address this later on in the video with some of our progressions. If you have a massive limitation, so really excessive heel lift, check out the mobility program in the description. First movement we have is a heel hook pistol squat. Really, really useful tool for beginners as it assists in both strength and balance aspects of the pistol squat. To get set up, you're gonna place one leg behind the other like so. So your, my laces of my left foot is on my Achilles. From here, I'm simply gonna squat and stand. So if you're an athlete who typically struggles with end range strength whenever it comes to a pistol squat, the banded pistol squat is a great tool to help address this. So to get set up, you're gonna tie a heavy band around the rig, rig so. You're then just gonna simply sit in the band. From here, I'm simply gonna complete a pistol. Full range of motion, like so. If this is really easy, you can further progress this by simply lowering the band each time and thus making it harder as there's less assistance from the band. Next, we're going to progress to our box pistol squat. This is a really useful drill for athletes who tend to struggle with the balance aspect of the pistol at the end range. So to get set up, you're gonna grab yourself a box, ensuring that the box is low enough that, that it allows you to reach full depth. So once the box is placed behind you, I'm simply gonna lower myself to the box, like so. Again, ensuring that my hip is below my knee, and then simply going to lean forward and stand tall. So on our box pistol squat, if you can progress from this, so setting up, lowering myself to a pistol, rocking back, rocking forward to stand, if you can go from that to this, showing total control through the range of motion, you can progress to our counterbalance pistol squat. So to perform the counterbalance pistol squat, you're gonna need a five kilo plate. From here, I'm going to complete a pistol. As I descend, I'm pressing the plate out in front. As I stand, I'm pulling the plate back in. So the purpose of us pressing the plate out as we descend is that it offsets our center of mass, allowing us to stay balanced as we squat. Our next drill to help assist with balance and mobility in our pistol squat is the heel elevated pistol squat. So to get set up, all you got to do is have your heel elevated and perform a pistol. Next drill we're going to look at is the elevated pistol squat. This is really useful for athletes who typically have the single leg strength and balance, but often just don't have that hip flexor strength. How this typically shows up in reps is you'll have a cramping sensation in your hips or your heel constantly clipping the ground. So to perform an elevated pistol squat, you're just gonna stand on top of a box and have one foot hanging off the side. You're then just gonna complete a pistol. This allows me to get into the full range that a pistol requires, but eases the demand on my hip flexor strength as I don't have to constantly fight to keep my heel off the floor. Guys, if you enjoyed the video and any of these progressions have helped you on your pistol journey, or you have any questions, Drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe.